and cadets from all over the United States came to Alpena last week for a special training camp. WBKB's Valina Jones has the story. 200 cadets march one last time this Saturday down the streets of the Critical Response Training Center in Alpena after a week of intensive training in the Civil Air Patrol program. Through all the cadet programs I go through, there's a lot of volunteer service I go to, like there's community activities. Um, it's actually teaching me to be a better person. Encampment is a yearly event focused on leadership skills, aerospace education, and physical fitness. Its goal to help develop young minds and direct them towards a brighter future. And for me, being at a young age, uh, when older people see me, when I give them respect, it really uh, puts a positive uh, outlook on my generation. Cadets ranging in ages from 12 to 20 start their morning every day at 515 with morning physical training. And after their routine, they spend the day participating in drills focused on military training, FEMA certified search and rescue techniques, and flying glider aircrafts. We like to say that, that we prove our value through our savings to the country. The Civil Air Patrol is able to staff the mission for about 108 days. What CAP flew for just about $350,000, the Coast Guard would have spent a little over $26.5 million. The cadet program, which is completely funded by the U.S. Air Force, is run by volunteer personnel led by cadet officers, senior cadets, and a wing commander. I'm not here for me. I'm, I'm here for my students and for my cadets. Um, and it's just great to see them develop, see my staff grow as leaders. Though it's not a requirement to become an active military personnel after training, the Civil Air Patrol is responsible for 90% of inland search and rescue missions in the United States and contributes to more than 50,000 man hours of outreach activities in the state of Michigan alone. 